Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey, I am back with another video. I've been gone most weekend, and y'all see I was eating with my mom. We had an awesome, awesome time, y'all. Hold up just a second. Y'all know I'm the only person with a house phone. I ain't gonna edit that out. Only person with a house phone, probably. So anyway, back to what I was saying. I was there on this weekend with my mom. And uh, we went to church in the country where she grew up in. And I did old school peach cobbler. And people were asking me, how do I do peach cobbler? Like if I'm going to take it to church or whatever. Do I do anything different or whatever? And I'm going to show y'all exactly how I do peach cobbler. Just like I do a regular peach cobbler. The only thing I put in a different pan and I make it a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do, I've got some frozen peaches here. And I'm going to use a couple of pounds. The recipe is going to be in the description of the video, y'all. And I like to use frozen if possible. Not fresh is the best. Because I'm going to use pineapple juice. And this is going to take about a half of this. Just enough pineapple juice to cover it. A bit more. Cut this on. Let's just get the heating up, y'all. Okay. Y'all see that I got pineapple juice in there. Peaches. Now I'm going to put butter. I'm going to put a half stick of butter. I'm going to save the other half for stick to put on top. Like I can say, y'all, this is so easy. Y'all should have seen me make this so many times. I put the butter in there. I put all this in there. Sugar. It seems like a lot of sugar. And I'm going to taste this too, y'all. After I put the sugar in there, I might need to add more. Sometimes the peaches are a little bit more tartar and not as sweet as some other ones. A little vanilla. A little cinnamon. A little nutmeg. Put as much nutmeg. And that's it. I'm going to bring this to a boil, y'all. Now, after it comes to a boil, I'm going to tighten it up with cornstarch, and we're going to put it in our pan. But I'm going to get my pan ready. Like I say, y'all, this is how I do a peach cobbler if I take it, have to take it to a church, to like a family reunion, funeral, uh, even any kind of uh, place that I have to take uh, to go pan, this is what I would do. And I make it a little bit thicker because I'm traveling with it. And I don't make it as loose as I do if I'm having it at home sitting around. But if I'm traveling with it in my car, I don't want it as liquidy because it'll spill over. So and the next thing I'll do is get my pan ready. Let me get it here. So what I do, I get a loaded pan here. Y'all see these in the store before. I'll spray my pan really good. If you don't want to take a peach cobbler somewhere, it don't come out of the pan. That wouldn't be very good. Okay. Okay, let's get stir this a little stir. We're going to cover it up here, y'all, and let it a little boil a little quicker if I cover it up. Okay, now, put my butter here to the side, because that's the butter I'm going to use for the top of it after I put the top crust on it. So y'all with me? This is so easy, y'all. Okay, got my pie dough. Y'all know I use uh, I use this here, Pillsbury pie crust, the rollout pie. It's the best invention in the world, y'all. Save me so much time in the kitchen when I can do other things. So what I do, take the pie crust. I'm gonna unroll it here. It's another thing I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I'm going to cut this and put it in the bottom of the pan. You lot just layer it in the pan. But this I'm going to cut it because I want to make sure it go completely in the pan. So all I'm going to do is just kind of make a little layers like this. Just like that across there. Nothing fancy, y'all. Cut this one in half. Cut it another way like this. Cut another strip like this. Go. Got a couple of strips here. We're gonna put on the side. No, it's no science how you do this, y'all. Just want to get the pie dough in the bottom. Some people do the pie in the middle. Pie dough in the middle. I like a bottom crust and a top crust. And that's it. 
That's all I'm gonna do. And that pie crust will get done on the bottom because I'm gonna put it on the rack, completely on the rack, and then heat's gonna heat up from the bottom of the crust. So it all people are always apprehensive. Will the pie dough get on the bottom get done? Yes, it will. I'm gonna put that pie crust right there. We're gonna let this thing come to a boil. Let me, and while I'm gone, I'm gonna get my corn starch ready. And like I say, y'all, this piece of cobbler takes no longer than 10 minutes to put together and put in the oven. It's that quick. I make piece of cobbler at least twice a month. And I'm doing this for uh, a friend of mine that wants a uh, down the street, really a neighbor. I call him a friend more than a neighbor. Uh, but I told him I do one. I'm on, some of it's gonna be missing, but I definitely gotta get me a bowl or uh, two out of here. But this is just how I made it the other day. The one y'all saw I had on the, for my mom church. And both, I made two of them. And believe me, they went pretty quick. So anyway, I'm going to let this come to a boil. And I'll be right back. I'm going to get my bowl here ready for my cornstarch to go in. We're going to put this pot to get this piece of cobbler together. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, now, this is boiling here and hot. Now, what I'm going to do... I'm gonna pour my cornstarch in here. And it's best to pour the cornstarch in while it's hot so it don't take as long for it to reach the total strength of the cornstarch. But you see how thick that's getting? And once it come back to a boil here, of course you ever work, work with cornstarch, you know it's gonna thicken back up some more. So we're gonna let that cook here about two or three minutes. Till it get the full uh, strength of the cornstarch. That's only when it gets completely hot, the full strength of the cornstarch will take over. I don't like my cobblers too thick, and I don't like them too thin, y'all. So we'll let this boil just a minute here. And then we'll take it off, we'll pour it in our pan here. We'll put our crust on there, and we'll be good to go. bit here more can see it's getting really thick now usually when it start popping you that's telling you that's the that's the uh, peach cobbler base talking to you that is ready so we're gonna let it boil. come back up to a boil Be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, now this is as thick as I'm gonna want it. Now let me tell y'all something here. This thing look like it's really thin, but it, as this gets cold, completely cold, this stuff is gonna be very thick. So don't let this fool you like, oh, that's too loose or whatever, and we when it come out of the oven like, oh, that's too thin. No, when this thing cool down, it's gonna be very thick. Believe me, trust me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it in the pan. Let me move y'all over here where y'all are. Trying to see what I'm doing here. Okay, pour it in the pan there. Where so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, now, all I'm going to do now, move this over just a little. Run some water in the pot here while I let it be soaking here while I'm working. Now, I'm gonna take this other pie, pie crust I had here and I'm gonna put it on top. Okay, y'all, this is so easy. So simple and easy, y'all. Okay, move that over. Get this one, roll this one out just like we did the other one. We're gonna cut it just like we did the other one. Oh, I like working with this here kind of pie crust. So easy. One on this side. Very simple, y'all. And there's no science how you do this, y'all. Just do your crisscross or whatever. You can do a you can do a complete complete uh, line if you want to. You can do I mean cover it over completely without doing the lines if you want to. I just like, you know, kind of crisscross. And look. Cut this this way. Can y'all 
see what I'm doing. Let me move it over just a little here. Y'all can see what I'm doing here. Like I say, y'all, you can do it however which way you want to do it. No signs to it. As long as the end result is good. And this is exactly how I made it the other day from my mom's uh, church. Okay, now, I'm gonna put this rest of this butter that I had on it. I'm gonna say y'all something, this, is, this piece of carpet is not for the Weight Watchers. Got plenty of butter and sugar in it. And I just put butter on it. I like to put solid butter. Some people put melted. I just like the way it melts on top of the sugar. The sugar melts on top of the cold butter. There we go. Now, we're going to put a little sugar on top, y'all. And we're going to put it in the oven here. There we go. Make a little sugar. I like to be very liberal with my sugar there. Because that crystallizes, it cooks, and that what makes the pie dough so so pretty. And you got that crystallized sugar and butter on top. That's what makes it. Like my buddy, uh, Daddy Jack used to say, what I say? I appeal is half the meal. So we're going to put this in the oven, y'all. Usually take about 45 minutes to cook this thing because it's already hot. If it was completely cold, it would take an hour. Like if I was to do this ahead of time, which you can do this ahead of time, the night ahead of time, a couple of days ahead of time, you like a holiday busy. And then you can do it just like this, let it cool, put it in the refrigerator the next day with your function or whatever you're doing. Then put it in the oven and cook it for an hour uncovered. So anyway, I'm going to put it in the oven here about 45 minutes. We'll come back and we'll have a hot bubbling peach cobbler. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. This is what you get, y'all. Peach cobbler is fresh out of the oven. See how golden brown that crust is? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit here about an hour. Let it sit here about an hour and let it quit bubbling and kind of get together there. I'm going to come back in about an hour here and we're going to uh, get us a big bowl of peach cobbler. But that took 45 minutes, like I say, in the, out of the, in the oven. And you let it take, um, in fact, like I said, if you put it in cold, it'll take about um, an hour if you put it in cold. But this is how you make it. If you go into a you know, a church function, family reunion, potluck, the funeral, wedding. I don't know if had peach coffee at a wedding. <laughs> but, you know, just over friend's house for dinner and want to take something over. This is how I do it. I use a aluminum pan and uh, make it a little bit thicker. And I make it uh, hours before because I want to set up and be firm when I take it to I don't, And it's best, I like the room temperature. I eat in the cold too, but room temperature is better to set up and all the flavors are married back together and you see how I put the butter and sugar on top and then how the nice golden brown and crystallized that sugar is on top of the crust. That's very important too. So anyway, I'll be back in about an hour, get a big bowl of it and we'll see how it tastes. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I've let this cool down about an hour. Let me show you something here. It can go a little longer to cool down, but I couldn't wait much longer. You see how hot it still is. Like I say, if you let it set up a little longer, it's definitely going to thicken up on you. We're going to try this out. Mm, 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 mm. This is good, y'all. Yeah. I like that juice. Mm. Peach is perfectly cooked. Good stuff here, y'all. Like I say, once it's set up, more, it's going to be more firmer, especially overnight. We let it sit on the counter overnight. It's definitely going to uh, set up. But anyway, I just want to share this little video. Y'all have seen me make peach cobbler so many times. 
make it in my sleep. But just want to show you how I make it if I want to travel with it and uh, take it to a potluck or, or a church function or a holiday uh, party or something. This is how we do it. But anyway, let me close this video like I close every video. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021, help somebody old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.